So this is my external monitor. It's a Phil World F6 Plus monitor. And initially I got this monitor because I didn't have a flip out screen for the camera I was using. But now it has become one of my favorite tools to use when I'm out on my film productions. So I wanted to do a video to share my thoughts on this particular monitor with you. So first things first, I'll talk about the build quality of the monitor. It is made of a plastic uh, cover and doesn't feel as, you know, high quality as I guess some other monitors like the Atomos. But for the amount of money that you're spending, which is $170, it works and it gets the job done. One thing that I've noticed is that the screen does reflect a bit and in scenarios whereby I'm outdoors and it's a bit bright, I do get a bit of reflection. So that is a bit of an issue, but it does come with a hood that does help with covering the LCD screen a bit so that you're able to see what you're shooting. The monitor does feature a touchscreen display, so you're able to quickly change certain aspects on the monitor. If you'd like to add waveforms, histogram, and false color, you're able to do it just by touching the screen and going to the menu. When it comes to the battery, you do have the option of adding an L-series battery. And if you don't have an L-series battery, you can use the Canon LPE6 batteries, which is what I use to power this monitor. I have a few batteries on hand and these batteries give me about 45 to an hour of screen time. So it's more than enough when it comes to the type of work that I do. So let's jump into how I set up my external monitor on my camera. So when it comes to setting up my external monitor on my camera, I use two pieces of gear. They're both by small rig. The first one is the small rig cage for the R6 Mark II and this RE external monitor mount, which I would attach onto the small rig. And this is how it looks. What I love most about this RE monitor mount is that you're able to tilt your screen for maximum comfort when you're shooting. So instead of just having your screen straight up, you're able to tilt it and have better angles when you're out there and creating your films. So should you get this monitor? For my personal opinion, I think it's been a game changer for me when it comes to shooting. Uh, for client projects, I'm able to see and compose better. Obviously the LCD screen, if you don't have the budget to get this, is more than enough. But in situations whereby you want to see more and have more screen real estate out when you're shooting, this is the perfect solution. In terms of pricing, at $170, it's a good budget option. There are cheaper ones. I think they have one which is about 90 something dollars. Um, but I have not used that one, so I can only share my thoughts on this particular monitor and from using it for years now it's worked perfectly and i've not had any issues with this particular monitor so all in all if you're interested in a monitor i would highly recommend this one unless you have a higher budget you could go for something else something like the atomos which is something i'll be interested in trying out in the future so that's it for me today if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you all in another one